I'm going to be doing a very quick review of the Matthew C. Alpha. My daughter is in first grade. We did the primer or primer last year and we're very happy with that. Um, it gets harder and you get more stuff for the Alpha set and we're again like I said we're very very happy with it. Um, the basic general outline for how it works is you know you start out with your first lesson, I just opened a random one, <clears throat> and um, you know, you the first one, it comes with a DVD, and you'll watch the videos, and the fella does a really good job, there's kids in the background, um, he's got a big whiteboard and manipulatives, he does it up there, and it gives the kids a chance to learn from somebody else for just a little bit, so we always sit by each other and watch the videos, and I have her book, open in front of me and I always pause it so that she actually answers along with the other kids and so they'll go and they'll practice whatever the lesson was for the week there are word problems in there they're supposed to color all of them but my daughter knows them so well she I don't make her do it all the time if she doesn't want to so they see they're just going and they're practicing then they have a systemic review of everything they've kind of learned um, so far and if your kids have it down pat, usually that's kind of where you stop. I don't. I think math is one of the really, really important ones. This doesn't take too long to do if I'm with her and she's focused. Um, you know, so, see they have more review. I love that the whole latter half is the review. And then the last one, which is G, is always kind of a fun one. Um, so you get to call it. She loves getting to the G. To her, that's kind of a little, a little treat. And so you do some more things on there, and then it starts over again. Um, they also have the availability on their um, website where you can print out student worksheets if they need extra practice. This is a mastery program, so if your kids haven't got it down, don't move on. They On their website, they have an app. I have not, I think it's maybe only available for um, iPhones, but they have an, uh, um, a thing on their website where you can select um, what lessons you want it to go through. So you can choose just lesson 12, or you can say from everything so far. So I like to often do just a review unless she's really struggling with something. So I'll add a little bit of everything in there. I print it double-sided sometimes. Usually I do just one. And so I'll have her do her one her one double-sided page, and then I'll slip one of these in there um, now that it's getting a little bit harder and I want her to retain it. When she has problems that are wrong, what I do, like they do solve for the unknown, you know, this said what plus 8 equals 10, and she said 3. And so I am trying to teach her how to check her work, so what does 3 plus 8 equal? And then so to help her figure out the answer. Um, in the back, um, they have, I'm trying to do this fast, I'm sorry, of course they have some time. They don't get any time a whole lot um, in this one. It's, it's something that, oopsies, we've kind of supplemented with or just worked on ourselves. They have um, um, like a congratulations thing in the back and in the front they have a thing for record keeping which I think is fantastic. I don't use this anymore. I have a different thing I do, but I love that they have this in here. And you can see, again, they only go up to F. Um, you know, we do more. And, and then this one also has the teacher book, which we don't really need at this stage. But when we watch a video, we'll go through the video together, and then we kind of read this together as well. And they're not usually long. I don't make her read all of it with me if I feel like she doesn't need to. The Alpha also has tests in there, and I really like it. They're simple, but it's a good way to make sure all your ducks are in a row, that if you're audited or you have to keep a portfolio, you've got everything you need to prove what you're doing. It also comes with, you know, you buy the manipulatives. I love that they're colorful. Um, in the earlier books, and or the primer, I don't know if it's in this one, I can't remember. I think it is. You get um, little cards and you cut them out and color them and we laminated them so that she'll draw a card and build a hundreds, a, a tens, and a units place and she kind of colored them. And um, we have another set that has more tens and our hundreds in it but it's large. Sorry. Sorry about that. Kids were getting a little wild. 
So I just scanned our hundreds and had them laminated because then they fit right here. And usually this is all we need. Um, and it makes it a lot less time to clean up and every, everything. So, you know, she'll draw, maybe just say she drew 200s. She'll put it there. And then, you know, her tens and her units. And she really enjoyed doing that. It was just like a really fun game for her. Um, also, while she's working, my toddler, he likes to play with these too. And so we'll go through like, okay, what color is, what colors are these, you know, and how many are there, and he'll count them. On the back of this, you can see it's been well used. It has a harder version of the clock, which was in the very back of this. Um, again, this is my daughter's second year using Matthew Seed. The first one was Primer. I highly recommend it. It is expensive. It is um, harder to buy. You can't just get it on the regular websites, but it's worth it. I am, I'm just really thrilled. I don't know how these work for the older grades. Um, I know some people don't like them. I don't know why yet, um, but so far I, I just have only good things to say about this. We also have the song. Um, you know, they have little songs that you can sing. They have Christian versions. And then they have just secular versions for learning how to skip count, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, I'd love to hear your experiences in the, in the comments below of the older versions of Matthew C. and what your experiences was uh, with that if you loved it or why you didn't like it. Um, but anyway, good luck. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.